Hi everyone! Today we're going to be working on essential element number 56. For the previous two videos you watched, we only used the open strings, which means that we didn't use any left hand fingerings to play any notes. But in this one, we're actually putting down fingers on your left hand. So the key signature actually matters. As you can see from the music, we have two sharps, um, F sharp and C sharp. And in this case, we're only going to be worrying about F sharp. Now take a look at the music, and I'm going to play through it once for you first, so you can get a sense of what it sounds like. I'm playing it with quarter note equals to 45. 4, 3, 2, 1. Now let's take a look at the music, and we don't have to use the bow first, so let's just play with pizzicato, so you don't have to worry about the bowing. Now the first measure, the first note, there's a 3 written on the top, which indicates that we're using the third finger. So when you put down the third finger, make sure that the first two fingers are also supporting it. So you're also putting down the first two fingers to support the third. And it should sound like... That's the first two notes. And then come to the sec third note, there's a two written on top. That means you're letting go of your third finger and let the first two fingers remain on the string. G to F sharp, so it's only a half step. So your F sharp should be very close to your G. And when you release your G, it should sound like F sharp. So the first measure, four, three, two, one. Rest. And then going to the second measure, we're going from F sharp to E, which is a whole step, so your finger should be wide enough to make a whole step. And it's the first finger, so the other fingers should be relaxing. So second measure, the first note, second note, and third note, you're putting down your F sharp again, which is a whole step apart from the E. And still keep your first finger down. So third note, and then rest. So your fingers should be close to each other. See my second finger and third finger, they are close to each other. But my first finger and second finger, they are very apart from each other. Now I'll play with pizzicato um, for still quarter note equals to 45, and I'll show you the left hand only. Four, three, two, one. Rest. 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 Now let's pick up our bowl again. And as you can see in this exercise, we're only using the D string. So with your right hand, let's find the angle of your D string first. Again, you're finding the angle with your elbow. So where and in, in which angle your elbow should be in order to have a clean open D string, stay on that angle. So your elbow should be steady throughout this whole exercise. I don't want to see anything like this because we're only using one string. So make sure your elbow stays at the same place throughout and just play open string D first. First, let's take out all the notes in your left hand and just play open D with the rhythm. 
I'm still playing it with quarter note equals to 45. And let's just play open D throughout. Find the angle. Three, two, one. tell that during the rest I'm not moving my bow at all we are not doing any retake because in the second measure we are starting from the up bow so you end it up on a down bow in the set first measure so you're going to be starting from the tip for the second measure and going into third measure we're also starting from the we're starting from the down bow so you're not moving your bow when you get to the frog. So in this exercise, you don't worry too much about doing retake at all. You just do as it comes and stay at the place where you ended up during the rest. Now let's put our left hand and right hand together. It might be a little bit challenging now. The more you practice this separately, it'll be easier for you when you combine them together. Now I'm going to play it at an even slower tempo, quarter note equals to 40, and you can play along with me. I'm going to do repeat for three times. The first time I'm going to focus on my left hand, so if my, to see if my fingers are curved in a good angle, if I'm using the pads, where is the, where is the position of my thumb, and is everything relaxed enough. And the second time through, I'm going to focus on my right hand. See, if my angle is steady, am I playing a clean D string? And see if your elbow is staying in the front of your body like we've mentioned before. Don't let it go to the back. So that's the right hand. And then the third time around, try to see if you can have a little bit of attention on both sides so you can have everything in control. Now this is the first time through, so I'm going to focus on my left hand. Four, three, two, one. Second time, focus on your right hand. Find the D string, elbow angle. Three, two, one. Trying to have attention on both sides. Three, two, one. That's it for this video. Have fun practicing.